Okay, it's time for my 2022 year in review. This past year was pretty crazy for my acting career. So we're gonna take a look at my audition statistics for the past 12 months and see if we can find any takeaways from those numbers. So let's get to it. What's up my fellow actors, welcome to the Acting Career Center, here to help you learn the skills you need to break into the film and television industry. My name is Kurt Yu. thank you so much for spending some time here with me today. If it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice. Now the first thing I want to do today is a little bit of self-promotion, because I'm currently on a show called Will Trent. It's a brand new detective drama on ABC, and you can catch me in a handful of episodes this first season as medical examiner Pete Ch in. Now, Will Trent has gotten a lot of great reviews so far, so I'd love for you to check it out and tell me what you think. Okay, so now that we've gotten that bit of self-promotion out of the way, let's get to today's topic. Uh, we're going to do a 2022 audition statistics video. We've done a video like this for the past few years where I go over my statistics and auditions for the year. So if you wanna watch any of those past videos, I'll put links to them down in the description below. But today we're basically gonna do the same thing as we have in the past. I'm gonna go over all my auditions for the past year, my total number of bookings for the past year, my booking percentage, and then we'll break it down and separate it into total TV auditions and movie auditions, commercial auditions, and everything else, right? Uh, and then we'll uh, try to compare it to the previous years and see if we notice any trends or any changes. And then I think it's also important to kind of take a step back and look at it from a high level, from a bird's eye view, and see if we can draw any conclusions from the numbers. Because, you know, it's great to have those numbers but what can what can we really do with them can it tell me anything about my acting career and do, do my numbers tell you anything about your acting career right so we're gonna try to try to learn all of that now because we're talking about auditions today if you haven't already downloaded my 10-step audition preparation guide you can get it from that link right up there I call it my audition cheat sheet it's my own 10-step audition preparation process that I personally use that has helped me book over 50 movies and television shows including Will Trent so if you want to download that for free you can get it from that link right up there. Okay, we're gonna stop talking about this now. Let's get right to the numbers. I'm gonna put the numbers over here on my side and I have my own numbers right here down below. So I'll be referencing that. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the last three years first. So let's put those up. My 2021 totals, my 2020 totals, and then my 2019 totals. So in 2019, I had a 123 total auditions. I had a total of 12 bookings out of those 123 auditions with a booking percentage of 9.8. And then in 2020, I had 74 auditions. Of those, I booked 10 of them with a booking percentage of 13.5%. And then in 2021, I had 135 auditions with 17 booked and a booking percentage of 12.6%. So now this brings us to 2022. So drum roll, please. Let's take a look at 2022. I had 128 total auditions and a total number of bookings of four. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> That's a booking percentage of 3.1%. I told you in the beginning of this video that I had a crazy year this past year, but not in the way that you might have expected, not in a way that I booked a bunch of cool, really cool jobs. It was actually the opposite. I booked a, a lot fewer jobs than I thought I was going to. Only four booked auditions this year, whereas last year it was 17. So I think this is something that we'll get into uh, later on when we talk about what can we learn from all of this, right? But I will say this. Uh, I certainly didn't expect to only book four auditions this past year. Uh, last year, if you watched my audition video for 2021, I said how, I talked about how it was my best acting year since I started acting. So I certainly expected by the end of that year that 2022 was gonna be even better. In my mind, I was thinking, all right, let's keep this momentum going. Let's let's make 2022 uh, even better than 2021, but that 
didn't seem to be the case, right? Obviously. So we're going to get into these numbers later on, but let's break these now down into uh, the types of auditions like we have in previous years. So uh, total number of TV show auditions in 2022 was 56 of those. I booked three of them. So three out of my four auditions that I booked this past year were for TV shows. That's a booking percentage of 5.4%. I had 51 movie auditions and I booked one of of those that's a booking percentage of just 1.9 percent and then I had 19 commercials booked zero and two voiceover and booked zero so zero percent for both of those okay now that we have taken a look at those numbers and seen what 2022 was compared to the previous three years the question you might be asking is what the heck happened right what happened what happened in 2022 and why did the numbers go so far down compared to the previous years that's certainly what i was asking when i was looking at that so let's take a look at it let's try to figure this out uh, the first thing i want to say is that i was really excited to share this on youtube i was looking forward to talking about this and you might think that oh if someone's having a had a bad year or a down year in their career, they may not want to talk about this. But I was actually excited to talk about this because I think it gives evidence towards something that I had been speaking about for uh, for a long time, basically since I started this YouTube channel. One of the things that I talk about all the time is that this career is a roller coaster. And I think this is very clear evidence that this career can be a roller coaster. Uh, 2021 was my best year ever, and I was expecting it to continue to go up. I was expecting that roller coaster not to go down, but keep going up, right? And that's not the case. That's not what happened. It went down and it went all the way down. So this really just proves the point that this career has a lot of ups and downs and the ups can be very high up and the downs can be very far down. And there's only so much that we have control over when it comes to our auditions. Because when I go back and look at the numbers, one of the things that I don't track in my audition tracker is uh, total number of callbacks and avail checks and things like that. The reason why I don't track that is that not every audition has a callback, so there isn't always the opportunity for a callback. So it's hard to like gauge, you know, number of callbacks towards number of auditions because they're not always a one to one comparison. And then also for avail checks and things like that. But uh, if I just go back to my emails and take a look at what uh, which auditions I had callbacks for and avail checks, they were, the numbers were roughly the same from 2021 to 2022. The only difference was in 2021, a lot of those hit. And in 2022, a lot of those did not hit. And so, uh, like I said, the, that's part of the luck of this industry is that sometimes those things that where they're down to you and another person, they pick you. And other times where it's down to you and another person, they decide to pick the other person. And sometimes it might just be arbitrary and it has nothing to do with you. You have no control over that. So uh, another thing I wanted to mention about the, the low numbers this past year is that I talked about this in a earlier video, but I want to mention it again here. From There was a streak between, I think it was December of 2021 through mid mid-year 2022, where I went on a streak of 81 auditions without any bookings. 81 auditions with no bookings. And I'm certainly not an amateur. I've been doing this for a long time now, and uh, it's been about 15, 16 years as an actor. I have worked on many movies and TV shows and many commercials and all kinds of stuff. So I have booked my fair share of jobs. I think I have proof that I um, at least am a decent actor and a decent auditioner because of all the things that I've booked. So how does someone like that go through 81 auditions without a booking? Uh, that's just the 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 amount of chance that there is uh, that goes into auditioning. Uh, you don't have control over that, like we said earlier. So uh, I, w I share this because I want to make sure to encourage those of you, especially if you're newer in your career or even if you're well along into your career, uh, because I think people need to hear this, need to see that a relatively consistently working actor like myself still goes through these same ups and downs as anybody else here in this industry and still goes through long streaks of no bookings. And it's not really an indicator of the 
the quality of an actor that I am that I had that long streak because guess what? After those 81 auditions, auditions number 82, 83, and 84, I booked two out of the three. Right, so uh, if we don't look at the previous 81 and I just look at those three, oh, look at that, my audition, per my booking percentage is 66%, right? Two out of three. So uh, I think that also leads me to another point that I had, which was to not overreact to your audition st statistics. Well, I think in, that might seem like an ironic thing to say in this video because that's all we're trying to look at is my audition statistics, right? But uh, I, I do want to look at my stats, I want to look at my number of auditions and bookings and all of that to see if I can find any trends, but I certainly don't want to draw any hard line conclusions to say this is fact if uh, if I look at my auditions. So uh, a, a string of or a streak of non-bookings doesn't necessarily mean that I'm a terrible actor and it certainly doesn't mean that for you as well if you're going through a streak of that and also on the opposite side if I book two out of three or if you book two out of three or something like that it doesn't necessarily mean that you're the best actor in the world right if you go on a hot streak it just means that there are these ups and downs in the industry and I think that's really important to uh, have something like this really uh, highlight that. Now, another thing I want to say about this is that it's really easy to look at these numbers and just take away the negatives, right? It's really easy to look at it and say, oh, I had a really down year and not look into the specifics. I already mentioned earlier that I had the same number of callbacks and uh, and avail checks as the previous year or a very similar number. So if you start to dive into the details, you start to see that it's not all doom and gloom, right? Uh, the other thing that I want to I uh, want to mention is that out of the three out of the four auditions that I did book this year were multi-day bookings, meaning uh, two of them were for recurring characters on TV shows. One of them was for Will Trent, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, two of them were for recurring characters on TV shows, and another was for a movie that was a relatively large supporting character in a movie. So I was in the movie for, or I was working on the movie for multiple days, rather than some of my bookings from previous years, which were just day players. And certainly not to downplay day player roles, but my point is that the jobs that I did book here uh, turned out to be bigger and turned out to have more days on set, turned out to make more money, right, than some of the maybe smaller roles that I had booked in previous years. So these three out of the four bookings that I had uh, still had a lot of positives that I can take away from that, right? Another positive that I can take away from this year was that I also had two direct offers. So what are direct offers? Direct offers are acting roles that I got without having to audition for the role. They offered me the role directly. And this is a direct result of all of the networking that I've done throughout my career. I've talked so much about how important network networking is to an actor's career. And this was both of those roles that I got as direct offers were both in independent film films, both of them were because of relationships that I had built in previous years where I had worked on a production, um, and I believe both of those productions were unpaid indie projects, okay? And years later, for both of those, it was years later, either the producer or the director of those productions called me up and said, hey, I'm working on this other thing and I'd love for you to be a part of it. And this time they were paying roles. So it's really important to establish those relationships and build those relationships as you progress through your career at all times, because you never know when they may pay off later down the road. So I think it's really important to take a look at that and, and see that even though uh, there were certain, even though my audition booking percentage was low, I still had a number of uh, roles that I booked without having to audition for, which didn't always occur in years past. So that's another positive that I can pull away from this year that seemingly was a down year. Now, another positive takeaway that I can get from these numbers is this. When I look at my auditions for the entirety of 2022, I notice when I look at the casting directors that I read for about six new casting offices. That's six brand new casting directors that had never seen me in the past. And 
As you've heard me say in previous videos, and especially previous year in review videos, is that every audition is a win, even if you don't book the job. And this is uh, a really great example of that because every time I audition uh, is a chance for me to show my work, is a chance for me to show my ability, and especially when it's a new casting director is a new casting office they've seen me now for the first time for the first time and even though I didn't book that job it opens the door for more opportunities in the future so even though those numbers contributed to a low booking percentage in 2022 it also contributes to potentially more opportunities in 2023 and beyond so I can definitely take some positives away from that Again, even though those numbers don't look as good. Okay, the last thing I want to say is this. I just want to reiterate that this career is a roller coaster and there's a lot of ups and downs. And I think my numbers these past few years are indicative of that. Uh, I certainly want to make sure that I'm encouraging you with these numbers. I don't want you to look at the fact that I'm having a down year as a as discouragement. I want you to look at that and see that for a working actor like myself, that I have my ups and downs just like you. And that uh, it's very normal to have a booking percentage of two or three or four percent. It's a very typical of a, uh, of a typical year of an actor. And if you're an actor who is going through a cold streak, who is having, uh, who has 10 or 15 auditions without booking anything, don't get discouraged. Keep pushing forward, keep going to classes, keep training, and keep working hard, and get, and, and continue to get better, and don't look at it as a sign of that, oh, I'm a terrible actor. Um, certainly, we always want to improve, but we don't want to overreact to our, our audition statistics, like I said earlier, right? So... Uh, this has been another great video. I was really happy to share it. I hope you learned something from this. Um, I'm really encouraged now and excited to see what 2023 has to offer. It will be really interesting to see what the numbers look like next year. Will it rise back up? Will it stay down at the bottom? Uh, will it go even higher than 2021? That, that would be awesome. I have fingers crossed for that, but we don't know. So uh, let's see. I'm really excited to share a year from now and uh, revisit this again. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day.